You're watching a Facts with Fiona media production. I'm Fiona Moriarty, and this is Facts with Fiona. Hi, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the fifth episode of Facts with Fiona Season 2. I'm your host, Fiona Moriarty. This week's interview is with Oscar-winning editor Paul Rogers. We caught up with him at the 38th annual Santa Barbara International Film Festival, where he was honored with the Variety Artisans Award for his work in Everything Everywhere All at Once. He shared with us the most challenging scenes to edit from the Academy Award-winning film, working with the Daniels, and how his time in film school inspired him to get into editing. Let's go to our conversation with Rogers. So we're with Paul Rogers, the editor of Everything Everywhere All at Once. How does it feel to be nominated for an Oscar for Best Editing for Everything Everywhere All at Once? It's very crazy. It's a little overwhelming and strange, but wonderful. I mean, it's the things. The thing about the Academy Awards that are really beautiful is that it's, it's filmmakers that are voting um, and that are nominating. So it's it's you know, it's like a nice office award, right? Yes. It's like people who work in my line of business who say good job, and so that's you know. There's, there's a pride in that. Um, the weird thing is that the whole world is watching it for some reason. Yeah. Like if I was just making printers and I got a best printer award, it would yeah. be a little strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but it's wonderful, and I'm excited. I'm excited for everybody who's involved in the film because it was such. We felt like such underdogs. It's funny to go from like underdogs to now like people are like it's this overrated indie film, and I'm like, wow, yeah. we really reached both, both points. What was the most difficult scene to edit in the film? Um, there were, you know, the whole film was pretty difficult because it was really complicated and really complexly written by Dan and Daniel. Um, they had it all in their heads the whole time. So what felt difficult for me, I think might have been, you know, just another day for them. Um, but you know, the finale was intense when Michelle or when Evelyn is going up the stairway and fighting through all the different universes was, uh, that was a, that was a tough one. What made you want to get into editing? I went to film school in Santa Fe, College of Santa Fe, which doesn't exist anymore. And um, I just found myself when I was directing and writing and making these films that I just couldn't wait to get into the edit. And uh, it took me a while to realize that, that you could just do that. Mm -hmm. And then I remember the first time another student asked me to edit something for them and I got some footage that I hadn't had a part in, in making was such a wonderful experience and I thought wow if, you, if I could get paid to do this that would be incredible yeah well Rogers did just that but he explained how he initially misunderstood Michelle Yeoh when he first played her in the fanny pack scene he thought she hated it when in reality she thought it was incredible actually that was one of the first scenes that that I cut and um I think it was important for me to to prove to myself that I could do it. Uh, so they shot that scene pretty early, and this, this film is interesting because, you know, it's got that kind of Hong Kong aesthetic, but for these fight scenes, where in Hong Kong they would take a week to shoot these films, it was a, a half day or a full day, just one day to shoot that scene. So that scene we, I cut and um, brought it to set and they showed the, the crew. And uh, I remember Key, who plays Waymond, couldn't watch it. He was too nervous to see how he had done. And uh, they showed, you know, during the lunch break, they showed that scene, and, and um, my heart was pounding, and Michelle was there. And right after they, the scene end, stopped playing, Michelle just booked it out of the room, and I was like, oh no, I've messed up. She hated it. And I, what I realized later is she was booking it to Key's dressing room to tell him, it's incredible, you did a great job. But in the moment, I was like, Michelle Yeoh hates my editing. <laughs> I, what am I doing? Rogers even shared that many scenes, but especially the finale, kept him up at night, and how screening the film helped him and the Daniels realize how connected the first and last 15 minutes of it are. That was the scene that kept me up at night, in a good way. There were a couple of scenes, but that was one of them. Once we had a rough cut, every two weeks we would screen it, no matter where it was. And there were, it was sometimes really painful because we were in the middle of trying new things. Um, we realized through the process of screening that that last 15 minutes, that last five minutes really, really depended on uh, 
the first 15 minutes in a lot of ways on whether we connected with these characters, whether we connected with Evelyn and Joy and Waymond. Rogers told the story of how he first got involved with the Daniels Project and shared how emotional he was during filming. I was completely overwhelmed and intimidated and it was beautiful. I, I had a weird introduction to the script because Dan Kwan and Daniel Shiner are good friends and they lived a couple blocks from where I lived and where I work in Highland Park in Los Angeles. And so they, they called me up and said, hey, we have this movie we're, you know, we're writing and we want to, we want to walk through the story with you. They had been doing this with other people um, just to kind of give them a, a way to talk through the script and see what's working and what's not working. And so I sat in Dan Kwan's back office and they, they talked through the script and they acted it out and, and uh, you know, did the sound effects and, and they had this wall behind them that just had all this crazy stuff like hot dog fingers and raccoonie and I was like, this is nonsense. <laughs> that must be for something else. But this is really cool. And then slowly I started to realize like, wait a second, these words mean things. And, um, and I, I, I kept crying. I just kept, I kept breaking down during the film. It was this really beautiful, or during the film, during, the, during them acting out the film. And at the end of it, I was like, and there was no discussion of me working on it. It was just like, we want to, we want to talk through this with you. And uh, at the end, I was just like, I want, I really want to see this film. I hope you make it. I need a couple of days to recover from this experience. And I was like, I have to be a part of it. I have to work on this film. Michelle Yeoh, I, like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was such an important film for me. Um, and I, I w as I was reading it, I was like, I, I can't, if I think about editing this film, I'll become overwhelmed. I can't do that. So I have to just read it as a fan read it as someone who wants to see the film being made. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Facts with Fiona. Before you go, make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and iHeartRadio. And for more behind-the-scenes footage of the show, visit us at factswithfiona.com and follow me at Fiona Moriarty on Instagram and Facts with Fiona on Twitter. See you next week.